Hey coaches, today I'm gonna to give you five steps to follow in order to give the best speech at your end of season party. Hi everyone, I'm Whitney from Get the Pancake and today I'm gonna to talk to you about five steps to follow in order to give the best speech at your end of season party. I'm also gonna throw in a few bonus tips. Step number one, which you are already following, is to prepare. It is so important to show up and know exactly what you're going to say. I personally like to write things down, that way I have everything in my mind already planned out. A lot of people think that they can wing it, but let's be honest, usually you kind of, you blank or there's an interruption and someone distracts you and then you completely lose your train of thought. That will derail most speeches, especially if you're trying to wing it. Step number two is to give a brief overview of your season. If you finished first place, won some tournaments, competed in the championship, those are all great things that you should be highlighting and bragging about. This is not a time to be humble or to hold back. However, if you lost a lot during your season, that can be a challenge, but you still probably improved. Highlight all the different ways that your team improved from the beginning to the end of the season, and that will get you through a positive overview of your season. Step number three is to introduce the whole team. If you are having your own team party and it's only you, of course you need to take the time to talk about each player and their accomplishments and their achievements throughout the season. But if you're in one of those clubs that has 10, 20, 30 teams, you still want to highlight everyone that participated and contributed during your season. So what I like to do is just call out their number, their name, and then their position played, and then you've covered all of your bases. Side tips when you are introducing everyone on your team, you want to make sure to give them instructions before you call out their name, and you also want to make sure that you know how to pronounce their name. Not knowing your player's last names looks very unprofessional. So number four is to actually announce the awards that you're going to be giving. So I always like to give a most improved, a most spirited, and a most valuable player or MVP. Before each award, you'll want to say which award you're announcing, a description of what that award means, and then you'll want to say three things about the player that gets the award in this order. One, something very broad. Two, another broad comment about that player. And three, you want it to be very specific and identifiable. Here's an example. This player had a lot of team spirit. They were at every single tournament and every practice this season. Both broad and could probably apply to a few players on your team. Your last identifiable comment, they had a great pancake at our last tournament. This will build anticipation and keep the audience interested. Everyone will be guessing, hmm, who has the most team spirit? Wait, who was at every tournament? And then they're like, oh, it was Joe Ellie who got the pancake at the last tournament. This also gives the players who aren't getting that award some time to process it before their, the name is actually called. As you did with the full team, you want to give instructions about what to do when their name is called. So if you have your whole team come and stand up next to you, you want to tell the people who are receiving awards to take a step forward. Or if you're having your whole team stand up and wave at everyone, you want to tell your award recipients to come forward and stand next to you until everyone is called. The last step in giving a great end of season party speech is to do your thank yous and your send off. Every season when I've had an assistant coach, they have been awesome and they totally deserve a ton of thanks for all of the effort that they put in and a lot of the work that they did. Take the time to say one or two nice things about them and then recognize them and have everyone clap. Most likely, the clapping will be uh, enthusiastic and your team will be cheering like crazy for this assistant coach. You also, as that's going on, want to thank the players and their families for their support throughout the season. And then you're going to want to segue into the next team or the next coach who's presenting. This will signify a clear ending of your speech. A few bonus tips. One is to keep it concise. If you are at one of those big clubs where there's 30 teams, you want to get up and sit down as fast as you can 
while still making it memorable for your players. So keep it as short as possible. And that's why you practice. Also, you want to keep it positive no matter what, even if someone left the team in the middle of the season or if someone broke their leg. Those are all kind of negative things and you want to keep it as positive as possible. It's just kind of leave those, leave those out. And my last tip, don't try to be funny. End of season awards banquet is not a time to test your joke telling skills, especially in a large crowded room full of people that you will see again. If you regularly give speeches where you're making jokes and people laugh, that's fine. Tell your jokes, run it past someone first, make sure that it is actually funny, but do not use this time to tell inside jokes that only apply to one or two players on your team who might even be embarrassed that it's not that funny that you're sharing it in front of everyone and they might not even give you a sympathy laugh, not speaking from personal experience. All right, so there you have it. There are five steps to giving the best end of season speech at your party. If you are in charge of planning the party, be sure to check the article that I have linked below. If you thought this video was helpful, please share it with your friends and fellow coaches who could use it before your awards banquet. Thanks for watching and good luck with your end of season speech.